Hello everyone. Victor Zaz has got to be one of my all-time favorite Batman villains. I mean, his sheer creepiness could send a shiver down the most brutal of spines. Although I'm holding out for a Zaz appearance in a future Matt Reeves Batman sequel, which at the time of me recording this um, is February 28th, so we have yet to see that first movie. I'm, I hope that at some point we get Zaz as a villain. He's just, he's too good to pass up. And since I'm a lover of superhero theme music, I decided to write our own villain, Victor Zaz, a theme song. So let's go ahead and dive into the process of how that went. And go ahead and click that subscribe button down below if you're interested in this concept, and make sure to press that like button if you do, and then comment below any other ideas for superheroes or villains you'd like to hear a theme song for. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the, how I wrote a theme for Victor Zaz. And when I first started this process on stream, I had the idea to start the piece as a juxtaposition to Zaz's creepiness, with a very bright and happy theme. This is to mimic his very happy upbringing that he had very good parents, very good childhood, and before he went completely insane. This is when I used a series of five pulses within the strings to represent a kill or a tally mark on his body, and then have these five patterns again a 4-4 time signature will help support that feeling of an uneasiness. And although this idea was really good on paper, I was unhappy with how it was turning out, and well, my mood wasn't really improving that well with Muse score crashing on me. I just realized everything I have to pitch down. Shit. <laughs> Why? Muse score has never, ever crashed on me. Not that no one reads these. I don't, I don't. Repeatedly. Copied over. And then... No! It's 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 too much. Let me try this again. The f ah. I guess I can't make a tie for that many notes. And we're just gonna drink all these at the same time. Oh, come on! <laughs> This is like the fourth crash. What is so wrong with tying notes? Sorry. This is the viola. I am genuinely shocked at, at how much. Let's just try the viola first. Yep, the viola. Is this a sign of bi finale? Muse score has worked for me for years. Muse score has worked for me. Never crashed. Never, ever, ever did it crash. For now, I'm just gonna leave it, leave the viola alone, I guess. Um, try to tie over everything else. The cello too. The cello too. I went ahead and let my mind rest for this theme for about a day or two, then came back to scavenge what I had thought would be valuable, um, and worked on this off stream. The biggest concept that I was left behind was the idea that I had started with, that juxtaposition of the beginning being a very pleasant sounding mood. I had decided to go more along the side of creepiness and uneasiness that I feel like fitted Victor's as very, very well. Using a small ensemble of mainly stringed instruments, I played very long drones of notes that would move chromatically to help set a dark tone. 
the cello and the viola would then pluck a series of five eighth notes alongside the piano, and these in minor seventh and major seconds intervals away from each other to help give a sharp clash that would represent a kill from his knives and then tally marks. This is an idea that I had brought in from that older file. A melody then appears in the glockenspiel and the piano that was actually also scavenged from the original score. The glockenspiel was chosen as its timbre would help cut through the sound well and help represent a knife's sharpness. The piece then abruptly ends with another series of five pulses, this time though as a sound mass or a wall of sound similar to compositions in the 20th century by Leggetti or Ludoslavsky that would help give off the feeling of insanity and a lost mind. Plus, it was fun just to write, you know, on the piano. Lay your forearms on the keys to hit as many as possible. <laughs> and so let's go ahead and take a listen to the final product. So this piece was definitely a challenge, much harder than the Nightwing video from the past, and I would love to get another crack at trying to write this theme down the line because there's something untapped here for me that I can't stop thinking about. I feel like I have a good theme for him, but there's something else that I just can't bring my mind to that I feel like I need to spend more time practicing and writing more themes and become a better composer. I really want to come back and do this, you know, after a good amount of time. And for now, this theme does a great job of giving off that creep factor and that uneasy feeling that I was definitely going for, while also being fairly unique. It was really, really fun to try out some new techniques and just try to push myself in a new and interesting way. It was definitely a lot of fun and a great challenge. And I want to try it again. I really want to go again. And go ahead and click the subscribe button down below if you're interested in this concept. Make sure to check out my last theme I wrote on Nightwing and my new guide to how to compose better. Click the like if you did and comment below any other supervillains or superheroes that you would like to hear a theme song for, and I'll try to get to that as soon as possible. Anyways, have a very lovely day.